What's up, gang? It's Elliot Twist, and this is our top five this week. Seems like everyone had something to say about Nelson Chamisa's appearance on Hard Talk. Stephen Saka asked the hard questions, and I must admit, I liked how Nelson was cool, composed, and managed to defend some of the outrageous things he has said at his rallies. Whether if he's presidential material or not is another debate, but social media has a way of blowing things out of proportion. Can't wait for this election to be over already. Hey. We saw the trailer and we were intrigued. The first episode of Swags is finally out. Can't say I'm a fan of these materialistic reality shows, but the ladies Cookie and Gladys, who are the stars of the show, pulled off the diva-like personas. They even had me laughing a couple of times. If reality TV is your thing, you might want to check them out. There seems to be a looming shortage of beer and soft drinks set to hit the country. According to a statement issued by Delta Beverages, the company is failing to import much needed inputs, all thanks to the cash crisis, which has made it difficult for the beverage manufacturing company to access Forex. What's a party without beer or soft drinks? We hope the powers that be come up with a sound solution to this mess. So Snoop Dogg posted a video on Instagram working out to the Simtags produced track Mia Mia. The track features Mr. Easy and C for Pedro. Talk about when your work transcends borders. You can read more on this on 3mob.com. Imagine walking up to an ATM and withdrawing your medicine. This is already happening in a small town called Alex located in South Africa. This development will see public health facilities becoming decongested and cut down waiting time. Talk about convenience. Still in South Africa, DJ Smoo launched a school called Hustlers Academy. He aims to equip the youth with business skills and create employment. You can read more on this on Zimbaz.com. So for these and more stories, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at The Juice, or visit our website, thejuice.co.zw.